Hey, how the devil are oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so, right. I've been slowly building up my AV system, my hi-fis and stuff like that. And I've got an old amp. It's a Cambridge Audio A1 Mark I. Great amp, uh, but it's an older amp. It hasn't got any sort of connections to put to the TV. It hasn't got any Bluetooth, you know, or any Wi-Fi, anything like that. So it is a bit limited. So what I've had to do is... Uh, put a, a Bluetooth receiver connected to it. I've had to get a, a, a cheap DAC to go from the TV into the back of it to RCA, just so I can watch TV and Bluetooth to the thing. So, and it gives off decent sound, but it's a bit of a pain in the neck and there's no scope to add to it. So I thought I'd try an AV receiver and I'm one of the decent AV receiver. When I start looking at the prices for the good ones, you're like, whoa! little bit pricey for me i'm trying to do this on a budget you know i haven't got a huge amount of money to spend so i thought i'd look for second hand uh and funny enough today i looked online on facebook marketplace and i seen this beauty now this is the yamaha rx v581 and this has been uh reviewed very highly it came out in 2016 not too far back, so you've still got, the specs are still pretty much up to date. A 4K HDR, you know, all things like that, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Um, and uh, this was retailing for about 500 quid when it came out, and I picked this up for 180. And some of the prices people were trying to charge for their things on Marketplace was ridiculous. So I'm really glad I got this for 180, so I just picked it up. He's packaged it pretty well. <laughs> um, so it comes in with this original box. So I'll just open it up now and uh, see what it looks like and see if it's all working and we'll go through all the specs and everything like that. Uh, <laughs> it's not really an unboxing because this is an old, old bit of kit, but it kind of is an unboxing, so to speak, if you know what I mean. You know, you, eh? I don't know, what am I saying? Uh, so let's get this open and have a look inside. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, if you haven't, why not? Are you mad? Let's get on with it. Okay, so uh, it's in good nick. It looks pretty sweet. <laughs> nice. Uh, it is in good nick. Uh, I won't take the lid off this. It's a bit too busy in there. If you have a look at this. Yeah, so I'm not going to take the lid off. <laughs> uh, but it's got a lot of features. A shit ton of features. Um, get your six and a half mil jack, your inputs here. Uh, you know, your programming, your volume, things like that. It's got an auxiliary, three and a half mil auxiliary in, so you can plug stuff into it, which I probably never use that. I might do USB, you can put your USB in here and play media off that. Uh, it's got a music cast on it, so you can cast music to enabled speakers, to Wi-Fi enabled speakers, you can do that. It's got Bluetooth, it's got Wi-Fi. Uh, got HDMI 2.2, which is good, it's passed 4K through. Uh, it's got DTSX sound, Dolby Atmos, and it's got Cinema DSP 3D. <laughs> Bloody hell. So there's a lot of stuff going on. It does have HDR capability as well. Um, it doesn't really say whether it's HDR 10, HDR 10 plus or Dolby Vision. I don't know. It's probably just plain HDR. I, I don't think it's got the, the Dolby Vision in it. It was, did come out in 2016. It might not have been uh, put in back then. Not a deal breaker though. I'm, I'm just worried about the sound. That's what I'm concerned about. Uh, yeah. Uh, it does come with a FM aerial. I'm never going to use that. I think it does have some in, uh, 10 internet radio stations. I think it's round about there. And it's got this little thing here. And I, I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> I was like, me? And so I looked it up. And what it is, it's a, a YPAO mic. And what you do, you plug it in here. And you pop that in your listening position. And then press the button, enter and this will calibrate your acoustics of your room for you. So it's all, all balanced. So that's a pretty good little thing, isn't it? You don't leave that in, I think. You just take it out. But we'll have a go with that later. <laughs> Let's have a look around the back. So around the back, you've got all your HDMI inputs. Uh, and this is a HDMI out. You can go to your TV, uh, DVD, whatever you want to put in there. You've got your aerial and FM, uh, AM antenna, which I probably won't use. 
Uh, you've got some RCA inputs here if you want to connect this with turntable, things like that. It hasn't got a phone or built-in preamp, uh, but it doesn't matter because my turntable has one built into it anyway. You've got one optical there, uh, some coaxials here. Uh, you can you can attach two subs to it if you wanted to. I've just got one sub, so I'll have to maybe get some Y cable to attach to my sub. Uh, and then you've got your surround speakers here. And it's also got, uh, you can buy wire from the back of this as well. So I may try it just to see. A lot of people say there's not much difference in it. Uh, but I will buy wire them just to, because I just want them, just for the hell of it. <laughs> Why not? And then you've got your antenna there for your wireless. Before I connect it up, I've got to order a cable for the subwoofer. Uh, I didn't think to get one. I thought I had one in my, in, my, in my man bag, you know, full of all my wires and crap. It's not one in there. So I'll have to get a Y cable ordered today and I'll continue with the video when it arrives. Boom! Right, so when I turned it on, um, I noticed that it was all the other guy's settings in it and he'd renamed all the HDMI and all the connections for what equipment he had, which you can do. And yeah, I could go in and change everything and rename everything and do it all and redo all the settings. But I thought I'd rather start from scratch. So I'm going to factory reset the, the uh, receiver. I've just looked it up. So uh, this is all new to me as well. So I'm looking things up and then doing and then showing you guys. <laughs> so what you've got to do is this. You to put it into standby. You press this straight button here and then press the standby button. It should go into advanced setup. Then you use the program button to go across till it comes to INIT or init, init, uh, cancel. Then you press the straight button again till it says init all. I uh, gotta be in it to win it. <laughs> Boo. Put it in standby. Turn it back on and it's been reset. Job done. Now, uh, I just want to check the firmware uh, on it is up to date. It should be 2.86. So I'll just go into the settings now and check to see it is on 2.86. Okay, so I factory reset it. And like I said, now I want to check to make sure I got the correct firmware update in here. So on the remote, I just press setup. There you go. <laughs> okay, and I want to go down to network. Okay, and I want to go down to uh, network update. And it should be 2.86, which it is. So, beautiful, spot on. I don't have to do a firmware update, which is good. Okay, next step. Okay, next, I'm gonna connect it to Wi-Fi. I'm gonna do it through WPS, it's just easier. So all you've got to do, you've got a little button here called info, WPS. Press that, hold it for three seconds. And it says press WPS button. So I've got to run to my router now, press WPS button on that, and it should say complete on this. Give me a sec. Okay, so there you go, it was completed. I had to do another go. <laughs> I think it had a couple of attempts, but it did do it in the end. Uh, so there you are, that's done. That went out of the way. Okay, so I factory reset the amp. I've done the Wi-Fi. Now it's the speaker setup. Uh, so I got into setup now on the remote, and in here you see speaker. Now, one thing I will say about this uh, particular amp is that the remote you have to point directly at it. If you're out of angle, it just won't pick it up, which is a bit of a pain in the neck, really, especially when you're close to it, but it is what it is. Okay, so go into speaker, configuration, and as you, as you can see here, this is how I've set my uh, configuration for my speakers up. So I got the subwoofer to obviously use. You see, if I point it away from that, it doesn't work. I've got to point it directly at it. So subwoofer to use, I've got the front speaker set to small. Now, um, the reason I got them set to small, it recommends if it's under six inches, the woofer, set them to small. Okay, and you've got the center off, surround off, surround back off, presence and none. And I've got the subwoofer crossover set to 80 hertz and the subwoofer phase as normal. 
Now, I've got it set like that because I'm only using a 2.1 setup. Now, what I want to do, I've set that manually. Um, I want to see whether this little microphone will actually do a good a job as I have, because that sounds very good. Uh, you have got extra bass on the bottom of here as well. Believe me, you'll never need it. If you've got a subwoofer, you won't. Jesus, the bass on this thing is ridiculous. Um, but if you want extra bass, you can have it, but you're mad. <laughs> anyway, so let's plug this in now and see if it sets it up uh, the way I want it. And when it comes to the distance, so the distance I've got, uh, I've just got about three meters at the moment and a subwoofer at three meters. So I'd like to see what this comes up back as. Okay, let's plug it in and see what it does. Poof! Right, I've got it plugged in and I've got it sat on this chair. And as soon as I plugged it in, this came up on the screen. Auto setup, it just wants me to start. So I'm going to start now and it's gonna play some test tones. Okay, so it says measurement finished, and it's saying it's 2.1 channel, so we picked that up. It says 2.85 to 3 meters, and it says minus, minus 0.45 to 0, 0.0 decibels. I don't know, that sounds about right, let's have a look. Right, so that was done. Uh, let's see what it did. Okay, remember to point it directly at it. Come on, <laughs> configuration. So, yes, it detected it with the sub subwoofer. So that's the same, that's the same presence. Now, it put the front speakers to large, which I was surprised at, because it recommends in the manual, if it's six inches or smaller, the woofer, you set them to small. Uh, yes, it picked up that there was no center surround or back or presence, anything like that but it reduced the crossover to 40 hertz, um, which I was surprised at. Anyway, did it make a difference? Yeah, it did. It sounded worse. <laughs> I much prefer the settings I had, so I'm gonna put them all back to the way I had. I just wanted to test it out to see what it sounded like. Nah, I didn't like it. Um, it, it just didn't sound right. It sounded, the speaker sounded quite echoey. Um, nah, I didn't like it. So I'm gonna put it back the way it was. Right, that's done. Next one, I've got to get sound to come from my TV to the amp. Now, I thought this would just be a plug and play job done. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so the first thing you've got to do is make sure you're using HDMI ARC if your TV has ARC, otherwise you have to use an optical cable. I'm using ARC. So I'm going from the connection on the back of my amp to ARC in the TV. Now, I've got to make sure that the amp arc is switched on. So you go down to HDMI and make sure the HDMI control is on. Okay, job done. And the TV audio input is set, is set to AV1. So that'll be AV1 on here. Okay, I thought, job done. I'll put the TV on now. <laughs> You've got to change your TV settings. Okay, so you go into TV settings. <laughs> Okay. Believe me, it is worth it. The sound is great. But, oh my God, it's a steep learning curve, all this. Uh, it's first, my first time you're owning one of these. And I'm like, oh my God. With a music amp, you basically plug the plugs in, turn it on and wallop, there you go. These things, flip an egg. Uh, but the sound it gets, you sound to get out of it, is worth the hassle. Okay, so then you've got to go into your TV settings and make sure that it's set on HDMI arc. So you go into sound and your sound mode is HDMI arc optical forward slash. This is on an LG TV. It might be different on a Samsung or a high sense, something like that. But that's what you've got to set it to. 
And I thought, there we go, no plate of sound. Oh no, 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 You've got to press that and make sure that the digital sound link is set to auto or on and this simple link HD thing, let's have a look. Sim Simplink HDMI CEC is turned on. And then, hurrah, la 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 la, I got the sound at last. So the sound playing for the TV was great. Uh, I tested it out and wow, this is, for even with a 2.1 setup, the sound is phenomenal. Just check out this little clip I've got from a, uh, The Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> Obviously, you're not gonna appreciate it on this mic and YouTube compressing it, but believe me, wow, it was like ridiculous. And music on this thing is just phenomenal. Now, I went through, uh, connecting my old amp up to um, a subwoofer without using the subwoofer input because it didn't have any inputs. So you just connect it directly to the speakers. And it was really good. Uh, but having a direct uh, sub input to this, the sub, when I first turned it on and the settings I had it on, I thought the doors and the windows were gonna blow out. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ! The, the bass that come out of it is ridiculous. So I've obviously had to turn the sub down and, and do a bit of jiggy poggy with it. But it's the bass it puts out through the subwoofer is mental. Um, so what I'll do, I'll just do a quick sound test now, play some tracks and see what you think. <laughs> good sound isn't it I will say though that maybe the top ends can be a little bit harsh on some points uh, but it's total you know it's not that bad it, it depends on the person you are I didn't find I found it okay but for some people maybe the top end can be a little bit like oof, that's a little bit high so you, you can't mess with the settings in the DSP and the equalizer to tone that down if you wanted to also what you've got you've got an app and the apps pretty good uh, so you've got the app here uh, so you can choose your input so just without having to go for all the buttons, it's all there for you. Uh, you can also choose 
uh, what DSP do you want? So I've got on two, two channel stereo at the moment. Uh, you can just play your own music from your phone with it. So that's pretty good. So I can just choose one of these songs and just stream it straight to the, the, to the receiver. So it's a really good app actually. And there's also a remote control on here as well. So that comes to the end of the video. I think that's about enough for the day. This video is going on a bit now. There's probably a lot more settings I can go through on there. But look, it's set up for now. All working fine. And I'm very happy with it. I would say maybe when you play music, the top end could be a little bit too high. Possibly. Um, it, it can be a bit overpowering. Is it as good playing music as a hi-fi amp? Debatable. I mean, I've got a Cambridge Audio A1 version 1 or Mark 1. And it's 26 years old. And that's a very good amp. And I would say this was better. Um, but... I think the Cambridge Audio amp is a, is a nicer sounding amp, if you know what, playing music. It's a bit more natural sounding. So it's down to the individual, really. Um, it, yeah, this sounded not harsh. It was a very lovely sound, but compared to the Cambridge Audio amp, the audio amp, uh, Cambridge Audio amp is a more natural sound. But in saying that, this had more bass. It was just there. It was more up front. So it's really, oof, you know. So it depends on the individual. It really does. Uh, but what I'll do uh, in my next video, I'll um, compare the two of them. So I'll compare them side by side and see what you guys think uh, and see which, which sound you prefer. Obviously, listen to it. Don't just go for the bass and the, and the blah. Listen for the sound of the instruments and you know how natural it sounds and things like that. Anyway, thanks for watching today. That's enough. I'll see you in the next video.